Hey everyone, Dan here, and today I'm gonna to take you through the latest G3 update. So we've been really busy. The latest G3 update includes flip-flop stomp box, so the same way that uh, flip-flop works on quartermasters. It includes subtractive stomp, so that you can pull things in and out of your presets. We've increased the amount of MIDI messages available up to 20 from 15. And the reason we've done that is because we've also activated a MIDI sequencer inside G3. We have MIDI messages that you can send on the off press of your foot switches. You can also now enable a bank down button, so you can assign any foot switch to bank up or bank down. And finally, we'll also go through the new G3 uh, stage remote setup. There's other lots of little things as well and little bug fixes and things, but uh, yeah, you can see we've been hard at work. So this is a really big update and it's super important that you do a backup of your G3, put the update in and then reinstall your backup. Details of how to do that are on previous videos we've done and I'll put a link to those videos in the description. So the first one we're gonna go through is the new flip-flop mode in Stompbox. Years ago, we created a product called the Quartermaster. Now it's a simple true bypass looper, but it's got a couple of really clever little things about it. One of them is flip-flop mode. So you can select one loop and then when you go to the next loop, you can basically bypass that first loop and you can select which of the loops you want in flip-flop mode, which is really great for things like turning on one overdrive and turning another one off. So we've incorporated that into G3. I've got a couple of different examples here. The first one, I've got a flanger, a vibrato, and a phaser in separate loops in G3. Now, I never have these on together. So I want the ability, for example, to turn the flange on and then when I hit phaser, it'll turn the flanger off. So here's just a basic uh, core tone, bit of overdrive, bit of uh, reverb and delay. Add some flanger. Go from flanger to phaser. To vibrato. And then back to my core sound. So I'm flip-flopping between those presets. So that's flip-flop using audio loops, but it can also be really handy for MIDI messages as well. I've got the Numeris LVX here, and it has a built-in looper inside. Um, you know, you could do the same thing with the Strymon Timeline, you could do the same thing with the uh, ecosystem from Empress. Basically, I'm sending MIDI messages to activate the looper inside the unit. And why this is really handy, normally with the uh, delay pedals that have built-in loopers, you've got to step and hold on, you know, the, uh, like a tap tempo button to go into looper mode, then you can access the looper, and then you've got to step and hold to go back. Sending MIDI messages, I can access the looper at any time. So if I go from that sound again, and you can hear the delay. And now if I just start recording a loop. Stop. 
So it just means that I've got instant access to that looper whenever I want to, you know, throw in some different textures in the middle of a song. But you can see how I can go from, you know, record to play to half speed using that flip-flop idea. The other really cool thing about the new MIDI messages that we've done is that you're now able to send a separate MIDI message on the off press. So for example, if I go back to that loop, it's a separate MIDI message that I'm sending on the press to turn on and the press to turn off. Right, Subtractive Stomp. This is a feature that we had in G2 that a lot of people have requested, so we've included it in this update. What it means is I can use um, a stomp box mode preset to pull things out of a normal preset. For example, in this preset here, my clean preset, I've got a phaser included in loop nine. <laughs> Well, now I can use the phaser set up in the stop box preset to pull that phaser out of the normal preset. So press one to engage. And if you watch loop nine here, I can now pull that phaser out. If I press the preset again, the phaser will come back in. One more time, that would engage, and as I take it out, the phaser is gone. In the new software, you can assign any preset to be bank up or bank down. So here I've got foot switch one being my bank down, Foot switch eight, be my bank up. And once you've reached your desired bank or song, you just press any preset and there you go, you're in the bank. We've increased the amount of MIDI messages available up to 20 from 15. And the reason we've done that is because we've also activated a MIDI sequencer inside G3. So now I'll engage the sequencer that's gonna send out those step MIDI messages and I'm going to step through some different frequencies for the ring modulator. So if I engage the sequencer, you can see up here, I'm cycling through those frequencies and that sounds like this. So that's an example of the MIDI step sequencer. You know, it's really powerful um, and it's a great way to create textures from your MIDI control pedals. You know, bring out sounds that you might not have considered before. You know, when we first had this idea to do it, you know, we did think, well, you know, this would be interesting. In actual fact, uh, myself and the boys in the office, we've all uh, incorporated this into songs and stuff we're writing. It really is a huge amount of fun. In our latest version of software, we've included the G3 stage remote code. What that means is I can have my pedal board, um, you know, functioning as I like, but I can also have a remote control unit that I can use to remote control this pedal board. Now, either the pedal board can be in front of me and the remote control can be with the tech or I can have the remote control in front of me and the pedal board can be off stage. So we built this system for a couple of artists. Uh, one artist, Phil Manzanera from Roxy Music, um, wanted the ability to have his pedal board in front of him. He still wanted access to his pedals, but he also wanted his tech to have control over switching things in and out. So here's what that looked like. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you something really cool. Um, a little while ago, Phil Manzanera from Roxy Music uh, got in touch and asked me to build a rig for the uh, Roxy Music tour. And what he wanted to do 
was have his pedal board on stage, but also have a rig for his tech off stage so his tech can control his sound. So I've got a few sounds set up here. So this will be at Phil's feet. <laughs> But if Phil steps away from his pedal board, his tech can control uh, the sounds from his board. It's really cool. So this has been an overview of this software update. There's a lot to go through. Um, if you want more details, check out the software update manual uh, included in the uh, description. There's a link to it there. Um, or go to the support part of the geekrig.com website. Anything that you want any more specific information on, just leave a question in the comments below and I'll do what I can to answer you. Uh, but you will find most, if not all, of your questions answered in that software update manual. Thank you very much for your patience with this. We've been hard at work for this for a long time. But this really does take G3 to the next level. Um, you know, we are delighted um, with how it's all working. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Cheers, guys.